Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke, and today we're over at Luke chapter 14 now, verses 1 to 6. Uh, some more stuff's going to happen on a, a Sabbath, the seventh day of the week. Let's see what it says. Now what happened is he, Jesus, as he went into the house of one of the rulers of the Pharisees to eat bread on the Sabbath, that they watched him closely. And behold, there was a certain man before him who had dropsy, and Jesus answering spoke to the lawyers and Pharisees, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? But they kept silent, and he took him and healed him and let him go. Then he answered them, saying, Which of you, having a donkey or an ox that has fallen into a pit, will not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day? And they could not answer him regarding these things. So here's another Sabbath intervention here. Again, the Sabbath at that time was encrusted with many human rules and traditions, and you can do this on the Sabbath, but you can't do that on the Sabbath. And there are some things we should do on the Sabbath. There are some things we shouldn't do on the Sabbath. But then to go beyond that and create these very rigid, very, very steep and rigid rules that are far beyond the Bible rules, that's a different thing. And there was a lot of the invite him home, you know, and they invite him to eat with them. And there's a sick person. And Jesus, before he heals them, he's going to try to stimulate. He's trying try, try to turn the crank here, get them to think a little bit. He says, hey, is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath? And then there's a lot of rebellion going on right here. So much rebellion, you know, you know, when you talk to your kid and the kid won't say anything, there's usually there's some rebellion going on. And here's Jesus talking to the rulers of the synagogue and those guys and the, the top guys there. And he asks them, is it, is it legal? Is it proper to heal on the Sabbath? And they won't give him an answer. They won't give him an answer because, you know, some of them there are indeterminate and some are ready. They've heard bad things about him. They've heard that Jesus is a problem. And so they're, they're not going to give him any space here and they're not going to give him any help. And they're not willing to turn the crank. Jesus is trying to get them to think, but they're stuck. He provokes them to rethink this. You know, think about this. Healing on the Sabbath appropriate. Yes, of course. Of course it is. <laughs> but they won't give him an answer. So he heals the guy anyway, and then he responds to their thinking. He gives them practical things, you know, feeding your animals on the Sabbath, or if there's an emergency. In the church, what do you think we do? We who keep the seventh day Sabbath. So if there's an emergency in the church, somebody falls over in the middle, and it's happened to me, it's happened to every pastor who's been in the work long enough, somebody in the congregation has a health event, what do you do? Say, you know, we'll call the ambulance after the Sabbath. Of course not. No, immediately you call for an ambulance. Immediately you, you try to help that person. And so, friends, the Sabbath is not the way it's been portrayed. It's not a bad thing. It's a blessing. It's a time to draw close to God. And so watch out for crazy rules on the Sabbath. But find the things that draw you close to him and close to your brothers and sisters in the kingdom and use them on the Sabbath and you'll be blessed. But the worldly pieces don't need to be there. They shouldn't be there. This is a day to draw close to God and to God's friends. Let's pray. Dear Father, thank you that Jesus went against the tradition here and did what was right. And along the way, he tried to bring these guys with him, although there's no evidence that, that they came along and figured it out. But maybe they did later. But now, Lord, we pray you'll watch over us, that on the Sabbath we'll be blessed and we'll be careful with the Sabbath so that it's a day of blessing, not a day of cursing. Help us, Lord, to be more like Jesus. And this is our continuing prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. May the Lord help us to be more like Jesus every day, and may his blessings be upon you.